on the good ship. Lollipop, it's an eye trip. Into bed you hop and dream away. On the good ship, Lollipop. Doesn't that just bring back memory? Shirley Temple Black, who entertained the nation as a child star during the Great Depression, died from natural causes on Monday at her home in California. As an adult, she served as an American diplomat at the United Nations, Ghana, and Czechoslovakia. Shirley Temple Black was 85 years old and is survived by her three children, a granddaughter, two great-granddaughters. Now joining us on the phone from Los Angeles is Jonathan Kuntz. He is a visiting associate professor at the US UCLA School of Theater, Film, and Television. Also with us by phone in New York is Nell Nugent, a Broadway producer and member of the Producers Guild of America. Welcome to both of you. Thanks for taking some time with us. Thank you. Happy to do it in, for Shirley Temple Black. Oh, absolutely. And let's just reminisce a little bit. I'd like to hear from both of you on this and just to talk about the appeal that Shirley Temple had as a little girl. It wasn't just that she could sing or dance or was cute, but there was just something uh, otherly, if you will, about her. Wouldn't you say now? Well, it was <laughs> before the phrase kid power was invented, Shirley Temple was kid power personified this little female child some years younger um, I think I'm 15 years younger but seeing her was so exciting to somebody who harbored from the day I popped out that I wanted to be in entertainment mm. so seeing and then reading later about her kid power but the other part that was so exciting to me Years later, when I understood that people were black and people were white and they didn't mix, she danced with Bojangles. And I just thought it was totally natural. Mm -hmm. So for me, as someone who grew up later to produce somewhere around 9, 10 Broadway shows with predominantly or all casts of color, I thought... It must have come from my seeing Shirley Temple interact with a man of color and nobody raised any objection. That's right. And, th and there's probably genius in that, wouldn't you say, Jonathan? Because she was so cute and so accessible and relatable to everybody, she did something that had not been done before in that era, and that was a little white girl held hands with a black man, Bill Robinson, uh, uh, in a, a movie. And uh, it was something that perhaps only she could get away with, wouldn't you say, Jonathan? Yes. Uh, and uh, she actually made four films with Bojangles, with Bill Robinson, and did dance routines with him in most of them. And again, this was an era when you were not likely to see uh, black and white people dancing together on screen, but here is... Well, or interacting in any way, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, and here, for the first time, we, we really were able to see that on the screen. Shirley Temple really kind of embodies so much of what people, I think, their hopes and dreams in the depths of the Great Depression there in the 1930s. Uh, she had this great optimism and this youth uh, and the idea that, you know, if we all kind of get together, we can, you know, get out of this terrible economic situation. She was eternally optimistic, and this seemed to be one of her strengths, and which made her the number one female at the box office in the mid to late 30s uh, in Hollywood. And she wasn't just a cute c kid on film, uh, as we well know now she also became a great advocate for other child workers doing some very important work in that regard oh this is extraordinarily important because the exploitation of children in all phases of work became later a big issue but with Shirley Temple education chaperonage and protection of their earnings. I mean, I've done a number of films and plays and television uh, films in mm -hmm. which children 
were uh, uh, the under 16s or the under 18s, depending upon whether they were emancipated or not. Right, right. But I'm sorry. I'm sorry. With... Now, I'm so sorry that I have to cut you off. We're coming to the to the end of the show. But suffice it to say, wouldn't it be great if child stars today could take a page from Shirley Temple and how successfully she that, na navigated life? Understand that if they don't make it as adults, they can have a future that Shirley Temple has as an intelligent, beautiful woman who used her power Indeed. and her money. Indeed. We've got to go. Nell Nugent, Jonathan Coons, thank you both for being thank with you. us. We do appreciate it. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow on Arise America.